So let me take you through all the stuff. All the Starbucks mugs sold, my little clay pigeons. Check out all the bags. And the shoes. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna be packaging all this up today. All right, you guys, we are in my room now, and I wanted to show you guys how I kind of, um, like, get everything ready to be packaged out and sent out. I get a lot of questions about this from other people that sell stuff online, resellers, um, and all that. So I thought I would give you this little sneak peek into how I get everything situated when I get orders and how I, like, kind of organize everything because I... Yeah, I kind of have like a little system going on and maybe this will be beneficial for some of you guys. If you guys like this sort of stuff, just let me know down in the comments and I will film like more videos kind of like this. But let me show you guys a little sneak peek into how I get everything ready to be mailed out. Okay, so the first thing that I do when I get an order, like I, I print them out right here. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm watching some Casey Neistat right there on YouTube. But um, when I get everything, so it's like... Uh, everything, once I get everything printed out, I print out everything right here, and then I go through all of my orders on my phone, and then I actually physically write onto the paper what is going to go with this package so there's no mix-up. And sometimes I have uh, people that order multiple things at different times, and then we mail everything together, and so like I can make a list on here of all the things that need to go with this package. So um, that is the first thing that I do. I write on the paper itself what is going to go out, and then... Actually, that would be a really good feature, Depop, if you, um, if you, <laughs> if you could. Could you please do something like that? That would be, like, totally awesome to know what's going with each package. Like, that would save a lot of time. Um, but then I actually go onto here. So this is my little spreadsheet that I created on Excel to, so I can keep track of, um, how much I spend and how much I make per item that I sell and all that stuff. So as you can see there, um, there is the item name. So let me make this bigger. That'll probably um, be a lot easier to see. There we go. Ah, beautiful. Okay, so um, there's the item, purchase price, sale price. That's the percent fee. Uh, that is from the Depop fee. That's not including the regular uh, tax or anything. So you kind of have to like pre-calculate that just like to put into there so that you can get like the exact number. Um, so I usually like calculate the uh, purchase price because I purchase things from different places with different taxes. So I kind of just do it before um, I put it in and I just do the calculate the Depop fee and then the fee paid is going to be uh, like the sale price with times the, P the fee paid and then the proceeds is the total amount that uh, like the that I make after um, the purchase price. So say um, I buy something for $20 and then I sell it for $30. Then you, the fee paid is $3, proceeds are seven, so then I made a total of $7. And then you can see all the calculations down there as, oop, down here as well. So down here, this would be like the total amount that I paid, the total amount um, that I made. And then you subtract those two, and then minus that, and you know what I mean? So. That is the first thing I do. So I get everything situated um, first on these two things with the 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 Excel sheet and then the the um, shipping <laughs> the shipping slip or the packing slip or the yeah. So that's that's what I do first. So those are the two things that I do, that I get um, done first, and that way it makes everything so much easier. And excuse me, I kind of just have everything kind of like on here but then um like I, I will go through each bag to just check everything to make sure everything is perfect and clean and fine before i send it out i always give it one last look through and then um even before i mail it again or before i wrap it up and put it in the package i will check everything again just to make sure that everything's good before it gets sent out so that's what i'm gonna do right now Hey guys, okay, so I just wanted to come on really quick. Um, so I just finished <laughs> inputting everything into the computer. Um, I finished writing down like all the purchases on the backs of the shipping labels. So that way I can ensure that everything that's going into the boxes are the right ones. I feel like that's so important because 
um, like sometimes you might mess up and like we're, like it's always nice to just have it written on there already so you don't have to keep referring back to the phone. I know it takes a little bit more time but I feel like it's a lot more efficient in the long run especially because it'll, it kind of prevents you from accidentally shipping something to the wrong person. Um, and yeah, because that's like horrible. <laughs> and yeah, I, oh my gosh, you guys. Like this is probably the largest um, sale uh that i've that we've had um in the shop which is crazy so i appreciate every single one of you guys thank you all so much um i have 80 or what did i say it was 59 um individual packages to mail out with a total of um 80 items which is crazy so Thank you guys so much. It's like intense. Like that it's so cool and I'm so thankful. Um, but I am going to start packaging. Um, this is kind of like the easy part because I like I can kind of like zone out and like package and do my thing and kind of like listen to TV or something. Um, and yeah, so this next the next few hours is going to go by pretty quickly. It's this. Like, the computer input thing, it, it, I don't know, it just takes a while, especially when I do it during the day. Uh, normally, I do it all at night because I get, like, there's less um, things happening at the house. But, like, right now, someone's coming into the room. So, it's Eliza! Eliza, come here! Come here, baby! It's the light! He's obsessed with this light because I, I have it attached to... Um, I have it connected to Alexa, so it turns on and off. Watch, Alexa, turn off light. Or, no, not light. Alexa, turn off ring light. Okay. Alexa, turn on ring light. Oh, that actually lighting was better. Woo! Super bright. Anyway, that's the update for now. I think it's actually time for dinner. <laughs> Hold on a second, Eliza, I will. And um, I'll be right back with you guys. This little kid. Eli Alexa. Oh, she can't understand Eliza, so. <laughs> Eliza, try to turn it on. Remember how I told you? See, Alexa, turn on box light. Can I get a box light, I can't. You can't. Alexa, turn on box light. You guys can't even see, but the I have like a photo box over there in the corner and I have it connected to Alexa because it's really weird that thing doesn't have an on and off switch um, and I don't like pulling the plug in and out every time and it's like in the back and it's just like really annoying so it's so much easier to just have it connected to the, <laughs> the little Alexa box thing that turns it on and off when you use Alexa so I, I don't know it, it was, it's a cool little gadget uh, which is pretty cool there, there's a cheap there's a cheap one um, it's like kind of like a generic brand that you can get from Amazon for, I think I got mine like, I think I got two for 15 because they were having some sort of Christmas sale. So if anyone's interested, let me know. I'll put it in the link if you guys want to check that out. Um, and I feel like it's just like pretty useful, especially when um, you're trying to, when it's hard to turn certain things on and off. It also works for the TV. So is it time to eat dinner? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Say bye. Bye. What? Wave. Bye. Blow kiss. Aww. Hey guys, it's the next day. It took me forever to get everything packaged, but here it pretty much all is. I just have a couple more things left, but right now we're going to go drop off the stuff that's in the Suburban to storage because I need to use that to mail all this stuff out. John and I just got to our storage unit and we're going to be unloading all this Christmas stuff. Also, John just dropped Drop my reindeer. Fell. Just got everything inside. Car is empty. That's just a trash box. And then I got some branches that I want to use for the house for spring. So I have those with me now. And now we're heading off again. Okay, folks. Guess where we're at? And with our favorite brother, John. Hey, John. John says hi. You just can't hear him. He's saying it with his heart. Alright, you guys. That was like a new car behind the... Like in the back by the register. And they had all these bags. I like this vintage Dooney made in USA. A patent Dooney. This Louis Vuitton might be real. And this one's a definite fake. 
I just wanted to show you guys. Anyway, and the fake one is the one that they priced way more, $100. But this other one might be, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it checked out. But now I'm just looking through. Look at this tiny little dooney. It's really cute, but it's $20. I think it's missing the crossbody strap. Um, okay, let's look through these handbags that are over here. Then we're actually gonna go back over there to that cart and check it out. There's another box on top of it, so it's hard for me to look. And I was holding all this other stuff, so um, couldn't really get in there too easily. But I'm excited. We already found some pretty good stuff, I think. Um, look at this one, it might be real, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna look at that further in a little bit. I just wanna make sure I go through all the handbags because there's a lot of people today. It is sale day here at the thrift and they changed all the colors that go on sale. So there's a lot of people here today. Calvin Klein, um, looking through everything. And yeah, there's this Michael Kors crossbody, but it's 20 and it's kind of damaged. All right, you guys, we just found this vintage and made in USA um, coach. And it's not in bad condition. It's missing the crossbody strap though, but it's still cute. And you can just add a cute strap onto it. And then this really fun Kate Spade. I love the floral motif. And this one's 34. All right, you guys, we are back on this side. Um, did find a couple more bags that I just showed you. And I wanna take one quick pass through right here one last time because I did just run here or run through here really quickly. London Fog. I still have to check the other side of the store, but let's see if we can find anything in here. What is this bag right here? Re, Re Bianco. This feels like a nice leather. Rabianco. I'm gonna look that up. Kind of like this Barney's New York bag. This is the cutest tiny little bag. It has so much discoloration though at the top. But seven bucks. This super cute Kate Spade in like a natural woven fiber. But it's fifty dollars, and the edges aren't the best, so. Let me see, maybe this will go on sale. Also spotted this coach tote. $15. That's not in bad condition. I might get this. Alright, guys. I'm looking through Jujudri. See what they have. Those cuffs kind of look fun. So I'm gonna go take a look at those. The pink and white ones. Um... Also, that bracelet right there might be Tiffany's. That chair. Oh, these three chairs are still here. Are these stools? Oh, they're 50% off too. So they'd be only $12 for the three. Oh, this table is still here too, which would also be half off. Let's see if we can find mom's movie. Still looking for, um, it's complicated. Seems to be the most complicated one to find. <laughs> There's because I said so, which is so good. I got that already. She loves my best friend's wedding. My big fat Greek wedding. Also another fave. All oh, the VHS's. They have all of the Disney ones. The box that I wanted is gone. It used to be down there. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sad. It's okay. It wasn't meant to be. <gasps> but there's an H mug. Queen's alphabet. Yes. That's the Queen's cup. Let's see. 
little oregano thing. How cute. World Market. There's a cute Toya Birch wrap dress, but it's 60 bucks. They had a bunch of Kate Spade dresses. Also, on the other side, they have these Todd's shoes. They're literally brand new. Only $30. 39 and a half. Should I get these from mom? Alright, you guys, last time I was here, I found a Dior tie. And seeing if it's still here. And you know, also looking for the ever elusive Hermes tie because I have yet to find one. And I have been really wanting to find one with like a really cute print or something. Is this Burberry? Hey, I found a Burberry tie. How much are you? 10 buckaroos? We'll consider it. It's kind of like the wider tie. But, I mean, Burberry. Let's hold on to it. I don't know, $10 though. A little pricey. Not on sale either. But that's cool. Okay, we're getting there. Burberry. A few steps away from an Hermes. Oh, look at this. Like shiny, a little psychedelic. <gasps> Look at these cute little elephants. This looks very Hermes. <gasps> Do you guys see what I see? Made in France. Oh my gosh, stop it. Oh my god. I'm screaming, but there's like a bunch of people next to me. 10 bucks. I'm gonna use this as a, I'm gonna use this on a handbag. Maybe like to a twilly kind of thing. How cute, I love the print. I'm so excited. Okay guys, guess what? I just found a Versace one with the Medusa heads. Are you kidding me? Gianni Versace, 10 bucks. You guys, I just found another one. This one's even better, look how epic that looks. Is that a stain? I think we can clean that. And to top it all off, this is another Hermes tie. Am I just gonna be buying a bunch of Hermes and Versace ties today? Maybe. You guys, I'm honestly a little shook right now. This is what I'm talking about, manifesting what you want to find. Or like trying to manifest it and like actually finding it. Like that is crazy. Oh my gosh. Let's find another Versace one. But this one doesn't scream Versace. But like the print is still kind of pretty. Calvin Klein. All right, you guys. There's like a bunch of Coach belts. There's one right there, and then there's these two as well. They're all around twenty, twenty-four, or twenty-five dollars. I'm gonna wait for them to go on sale though. But I think I'm gonna head out right now. I feel like John's getting antsy, and I still have to go to the post office. So. I'm trying to figure out what this belt is. The leather feels kind of cool. Levi's. All right, guys, just left the store. John's carrying the bag full of goodies. All right, you guys, just got home. Time to get all the stuff inside the car. Okay, you guys, so I literally filled up the entirety of the interior of the Suburban. Like, it is... Uh, I can't like maneuver the camera. It, it it's full. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I filled up the car or the the suburban. Like, oh my gosh. Um. Anyway, right now I'm headed over to the post office to drop this all off. So if you ordered anything, um, up to today is by uh four o'clock on February eighth, Friday. Your items will have been shipped out. Um, you guys, when you guys see this, you, the yeah, I should be up to date by Friday. You guys are gonna see this tomorrow, which is Saturday, which is your today. Uh, and yeah, oh man, it was crazy. Like I can't believe uh, all the support that you guys like. I, it's thank you. So yes, I'm very excited. Uh, but right now we're gonna head out. It's almost. It just it's about four seventeen. So. Tons of time, but we're gonna go over there, uh, drop off these packages at the post office. Then we might go to the Goodwill, and then 
Uh, we're going to have dinner with mom, dad, and John. Um, the kids and their parents are out to Disneyland today. So the kids had a half day today, which was really nice. So they went off to Disneyland, and it's a beautiful, sunny day. Um, they're going to take advantage of it right now because it's supposed to start raining again this weekend. I think on Sunday it's going to rain again. So, And then next week it's supposed to start raining again as well. I think we have a few days of no rain and then it's going to rain again in the middle of the week throughout the weekend. So it's crazy. The weather has just been a little sporadic. Today it's really warm. It's actually in like the mid to high 60s. But when you're in the sun, the sun is super hot. And it feels like it's like 70s, 80s. So anyway, let's go. I'll show you guys the back. Oh my goodness. It is intense. Whew. Okay, but now we're gonna head out. I just got to the post office. I'm gonna physically drop off the smaller packages because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like sometimes, like, I've lost only, like, only a few packages that have ever been lost that I've shipped out, and all the ones that I've ever, like, gotten lost are these little ones, and it's from when I dropped them off in the back for some reason, so I'm gonna scan them in, and yeah, so. We're gonna go in really quick, and then we're gonna go to the back. I just got to the back. Let's See if we can find a car. I think there's one over there. just got back inside the car um that was a good workout got everything packed away and now uh, mom actually called me when i was inside when i was bringing in smaller packages and she was like oh we want to go out to eat pho so uh well i think i told you guys that already that we were gonna go eat pho but don't think there's any time to go to the post or to go to the goodwill anymore so i'm just gonna meet up with them at the house and then we're gonna go head over to the pho place so. Oh, my God. 